What up guys, Retro Django is back, back with another Commodore Amiga 4000 video. In today's video, we're gonna see how does it play an old Commodore 64 game. So we're gonna play Commodore 64 games on our Amiga 4000. This one comes with two megabytes of chip RAM and 16 megabytes of fast RAM. This is the revision DCR. Now this is the real deal. This is built by original Commodore Amiga, okay? This is not something that has been soldered with shaky hands, magnifying glasses, with a fat old bald guy. This is not copy, this is nothing like that. This is the real deal, machine built Commodore Amiga 4000. It has got onboard 68030 processor the best processor for gaming right it runs at 25 megahertz so we're gonna see how it runs an old commodore 64 game we're gonna play my favorite game on the commodore 64 which is named crack out we've got wireless mouse we've got the Amiga 4000 030 we've got a floppy drive we've got original here we've got this um remake tank mounts we have got the best joystick in the history of amiga the zip stick with an auto fire function okay so let's just go in and test a commodore 64 game turn for escape all right let's go ahead and check out the menu here of course we're using ags this is version 2.7 right so we go up to emulators, we test the emulators, we go down to Commodore 64 and we choose the best Commodore 64 game in the history of Commodore 64, man. Okay. Let's go down to Crackout. There we go, okay. Kung Fu Crackout, there we go. This is so much fun, man. I love this game. All right, we press enter and let it load. This is going to be awesome. Paul Vince, he's the man. I mean, he makes magic. So he, you can go in and download this whole image at the Amiga Game Selector on Facebook, burn the image and enjoy it. Now we're loading, <laughs> look at this, man. Commodore 64. Ah, oh, can you hear the cooler, the fan? To be honest, I have had this Amiga since 2018. It never get used. Never, never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> so yeah, today we're gonna enjoy it. Look at the condition, man. It's, it's an incredible condition. All right. I don't use it because I, I you, it takes as much place as an ordinary disc chop Amiga and I have got this over there and it has got this fan that's just bah. So <laughs> no reason to use it, man. I'm, I use my Amiga 500 Plus with two megabytes of chip RAM or my Amiga 1200 with two megabytes of chip RAM. It's a, oh, there we go. We've got crack out. All right, let's go down to music. Uh, how do we start space? Oh, there we go. Where? Ah, uh, oh, oh no. Okay, so the uh, <laughs> the O30 processor with all the RAM in the world. It's just not, uh, it's just not fast enough. <laughs> oh, how do we, is it escape? Oh, there we go. Is it quit? I don't remember, man. Yes, I, th I think. Come on, do something. Th oh, there we go. <laughs> cool. Let's go into uh, Windows which is called workbench <laughs> and go into uh where is it let's go into sysinfo bam and see this card is 68030 
Uh, oh, it has got an FPU also. It's Kevabunga and it runs at 25 megahertz, and that's just not enough to play Commodore 64 games. Oh, two megabytes of chip RAM, 16 megabytes of fast. There we go. We have got 16 megabytes fast RAM, two meg. Oh. Oh yeah, it has got a RAM board. It has got 64 megabytes of fast RAM installed also. So we have got 80 megabytes of fast RAM, man. It's crazy. So yeah, nice system, right? As you can see, yeah, two megabytes of chip and 80 megabytes of fast RAM, which is not enough for Commodore 64 gaming. Let's, uh, let's upgrade the specifications here. Now this Amiga has, as I said earlier, onboard because the Revision D it has got onboard this little processor. Uh, this one has got again the 25 megahertz and it has got an FPU installed here in this socket also. Now we could do something stupid by installing this one. This is the 68040 processor. You can install this with a hundred pin connector into the Amiga 4000, which has no onboard RAM. This is a horrible, horrible, horrible solution. It has got so many compatibility issues and the 040 is a piece of junk, man. So we're gonna, we're gonna do something else. We're gonna upgrade the system to the 68060 and boost up the megahertz. All right, so let's just go ahead and do that and have some fun. It takes so much, it also takes so much time to change the songs, man. Come on, come on, loading, loading. <laughs> All right, let's upgrade the system, okay? What a horrible CPU. This is going to be the next system we're gonna use. It has got a warp card installed. It has got the best kickstart in the world, which is 3.1. It has got a cooler and and nothing else that's about it let's just install the keyboard there it has been recapped and it has got this warp card that runs at 100 megahertz and it has got gazillion megahertz of ram uh, megabytes of ram and the coolest part it has got a built-in bootable micro sd card we have got a 128 gigabyte sd card with the AGS image. So let's just power everything on and enjoy this beauty with Commodore 64 Gaming, right? Look what I just bought, a brand new PSU. Uh, it costs like 30 bucks or something. It's so cheap, uh, it, it, it's just great. Just plug and play and you're ready to go. We just, um, we just installed the 68, oh, 60 with 200 megabytes of RAM. All right, so we're going to work and I'm gonna, just gonna see here at CS Warp. CS Warp, as you can see, this is the CS Warp card. And we're gonna set it, oh, it's at 50 megahertz, right? We're gonna press here and we're gonna go down to 105 megahertz and say set. Bam! We're running at 105 megahertz. That's cool. The CPU is 32 degrees and we can actually go in and say, as you can see, the cooler is off now. You can go in and say, uh, at performance, when the CPU gets hot enough up here, then this one will start spinning and cooling the system down. As you can see, the temperature is rising 32.5, 32.6. That's because we're running at 100 megahertz, 105 megahertz, guys. <laughs> so as you can see, the, the 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 temperature is going up. It will go up to 33 in a second. There we go, 33 degrees. Nice! We have got uh, 4.93 volts. That's beautiful. The FPGA is at 65. All right, so let's go in and say performance and say maximum. So the fan is just on. Can you hear the fan? <laughs> so now we have got cooling going on. That's beautiful. And we're running at 105 megahertz, right? 
The firmware version I'm running right now is 1.602 and CS Labs are always upgrading. With this update, uh, I don't remember if it, if it was this one, but with this upgrade, I removed the uh, IDE to CF card reader and I installed 128 gigabyte of micro SD card and it runs rock solid, fully bootable and everything. All right. So 105 megahertz system, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Look, look at all that RAM up there. Where is this info? It's right here, right? Uh, let me see. Memory, Whoa, 200 megabytes of unusable too much RAM, right? Um, drives, how was it? DF0, DH0, right? Look at the drive. Look at this, 14 megabytes per second. Is, is, look at those. No. Of course you can use emulators and you know, bleh, who wants to do stuff like that. But real deal, that's freaking awesome, right? Uh, emulators, I don't care for them. I have tried once FPGA, Sidewinder uh, software, one-to-one -one cycle exec recreator simulator, and that ran great. But I tried all that Raspberry Pi. What a piece of ass, man. Also, the audio is just bah. Right. Now it's time to press this button up here and low. Dude, that was fast. <laughs> that was just so freaking fast. So we're gonna go and then check out that emulator here. Emulators! Commodore 64! Nice! Let's go down now. Look at how fast it loads the image. I mean, this card from CS Lab, I'm telling you, it's the most amazing. It has got audio card, Wi-Fi, stuff that I never use. Um, but it's so cool with the, with the um, powerful CPU. That's also very, very compatible. Remember that you can install a $2, uh, if, if, what's it called, Raspberry Pi, but it's not compatible. I have got multiple videos. I know some, some guy will say it's very compatible now. It, it got up, updated yesterday. Sure, buddy, use that. More power to you. No one cares. This is the top cover. Or some, sometimes people are saying you're not using real Amiga. I am using real Amiga only. Nothing else, guys. I don't use a PC to to run the Mega games, nothing like that. Oh, there we go, we got the music. Uh, I think, yes. Yes, we've got the music. We're playing Commodore 64 games. <laughs> it runs, it runs so cool, man. So yeah, whoa. I needed to uh, press the button to go up faster there. Uh, this is pure awesome. I love this game. I love this game. And the further you go ahead, the music gets better and better and different. Oh, that was level skip, man, if I could take. Oh, come on, come on. Let's get that E up there. Yes, enhanced bad size. Nice. I love this game. Played it as a little kid and still something, you know, once, twice a year. I just, I want to play Crag Out. <laughs> It runs great, guys. Thank you for watching. Is it, oh, it's just so fast. Where's the quit button now? It's down here. We can also play uh, something on the Amiga and see um, how it runs. I, I love this. It, it's it's the, the fan is on, but it's very, very silent. Uh, this card costs... I don't even remember, man. But you can go in and order it from CS Lab. Beautiful card. I think it cost a thousand bucks or something. I, I don't remember. But it's the best upgrade in the world, man. And I think I paid like 30 bucks for this. This Amiga was actually, a I, I got two of these as a donation and it got recapped by a friend and uh, yeah. Oh, this is also 
sent to me by CS Lab. They sent me the uh, 6060 CPU inclusive. Caesar, thank you, my dear friend. Um, revision 6, real nice, runs amazing. Not all 6860s will run solid, stable at 105 megahertz. Uh, sometimes they run 90 at maximum. Some of these can go up to 130 megahertz. Did you know that? So, yeah, buddy. All right, all right, all right. We have a lot of games. Yeah. We're going to gonna choose Amiga games. Something AGA. Let's just go down to up to something Alien Breed. There we go. Um, Alien Breed 2 AGA. Just press here. And it's just so fast running what a great system that's why i never use my mega 4000 and i'm actually whole summer i've been thinking it has just been standing there i've been thinking about selling it man this you have to see this amiga 4000 the battery was removed before any damage uh, any battery juice leakage so the motherboard looks like freaking brand new and it's recapped also the mega 4000s uh, the um the caps at the audio audio area at the back left side recap it asap also the battery area if it has leaked uh, remove the ram sockets and yeah oh my god i don't yeah but for me amiga 1200 it, it's awesome so yeah guys look at how well it runs right now <laughs> see you on the next video bye